hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you mesh morphers wrapper some improvements i've made to mesh morphers wrapper and how to uh use wrapper with metahumans that's character you can use it with any other type of skeletal mesh but in this video we're just going to use it with metahuman and task characters so we have an obj that has been exported from mesh morpher and re-imported the uh, as skeletal mesh it's a welded obj uh, boundary uh, vertices are welded so we don't create any gaps between uh, these two meshes and we will use this for the wrapping process and uh, after the wrapping is uh, completed we will transfer the deformation to the actual metahuman meshes so uh, let's get started uh, we're just going to open wrapper and uh this is our des character and uh we have a uh, morph target created on this uh das character which we will use to transfer to our metahuman character that has been wrapped as a das character so let's add uh the das character as the source mesh and uh, here it's uh, pretty simple we just have to select our sections uh, for the metahuman side we will just select the head body and the eye left eye right we want to get those uh, placed uh, the eyes placed uh, into their sockets and uh, for the dash character we're gonna go with fingernails legs mouth cavity arms head body and eye left if you need to hide this green reference mesh, you just take these two boxes and we will see now we have kind of the same uh, 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 amount of uh, components we need, right? Uh, eyes on both sides, body and uh, head. Uh, now let's proceed with control points. Uh, here is pretty simple. Uh, you, If you click a mesh on one side and on the other side, you will get a color coded control points a control point and uh, if you want to delete it you right click on it and if you hold shift and click you will get a symmetric point as well automatically just make sure when you create uh, with symmetric point that the symmetric point was actually created so uh, let's uh, create our control points so uh, these are our control points for this wrapping process. As you can see, I focused uh, a lot on the face, uh, hands, and toes, right? Uh, I also added some uh, additional points in the chest area, and uh, this is it. For the settings, uh, usually the defaults are pretty enough, but if you want to fiddle, uh, just configure, try, try and test it, right? It's a trial and error, just play with the settings until you reach a proper result. Uh, I usually use a 200 iteration uh, value for a rigid uh, transformation for rigid fitting. It will converge earlier, but it's better to give it some room to be able to converge. And here in the refinement section, you can uh, play out with smoothing, uh, iterations number. This is non rigid iteration, so you can increase this number but it, it's going to take longer right so uh, let's pick a morph target name and let's press ok okay the wrapping process has been completed and uh, let's check it out Uh, this das character is our uh, morph target and this is how it looks and if we want to compare it with uh, the das uh, uh, mesh let's add it as a reference and let's check it out this is how it uh, goes and uh, further if uh, you want to uh, smooth things out for example uh, you can go to project and uh, project uh, our wrapping our wrapped uh, morph target onto the das character you can do that uh, you can select both head and body and just click select the value press the move left and right just make it look a little bit better if you need a little bit of smoothing press shift and project 
kind of like this, right? And uh, let's uh, see it with uh, the actual mesh. Uh, another thing we have to do is uh, we have to bring our uh, small components back to their place, right? So if uh, we select eyeshell and go to uh, relative uh, to the restore brush and uh, uh, in relative restore, we need to select our sections, right? We need to restore the eyeshell relative to head shader. I right, I left. Click on relative restore. Let's do the same for the eye edge and cartilage and eyelashes relative restore. And uh, for teeth and saliva, we're just going to select the head, right? It's going to be inside the mouth and click on relative restore for the teeth as well. Okay, uh, I think uh, we're good to uh, transfer this some morph target. Let's check it again. Let's remove the reference mesh so we can see a little bit better. If you need any other uh, artifact uh, fixing, you can go ahead and use the tools, do whatever. At this point, you can export it to OBJ and you know do your thing. Uh, use whatever other workflow you are familiar with. Uh, and now to transfer this to uh, MetaHuman meshes, we right click on it on our morph target and click on copy. Here uh, we need to add in target selection. We need to add our MetaHuman meshes. We're going to select the head and we're also going to select the body, right? For the settings, Disable, enable surface reproject. We can add a little bit of extra subdivision just for to make sure uh, the transfer is made as uh, the highest quality possible. And smooth iterations set it to zero. You don't want to smooth anything. And press OK. OK. Uh, the copying is completed and uh, let's check it out. Let's go to our actual MetaHuman meshes. And let's uh, check out our morph targets. This is the body. And uh, let's check the head. And this is the head, right? From this point, <coughs> you can either bake it uh, with the mesh morpher, or you can export to OBJ and bring it back in with MetaHuman Creator or whatever is uh, suitable to you. I'm just gonna use uh, mesh morpher because we are already here, and we're gonna select uh, the head as the reference mesh, and we're gonna select the task character morph target. We're gonna make a bone snapshot. Let's load the bone snapshot. Update from pose. And bake. For correctives, uh, you uh, have to uh, fix them, but uh, uh, I have a video. I'm going to link it in the description on how to fix the correctives for uh, the mesh. And uh, let's do the same for the head. We're going to poser. We load the bone snapshot. Update from pose. We enable it and we click bake. Okay, uh, let's check uh, the meshes together again. Let's add the head here. And we will see that uh, they uh, blend together nicely and uh, we can go ahead and uh, fix the correctives, right? Uh, if uh, we enable post-process, you will get a gap because the correctives are not for this uh, A pose. So it's fixable. 
Uh, another thing we have to do from the test character, we want to transfer this belly morph target or any other morph target to our uh, metahumans, right? Uh, since this only affects the body, we're just gonna go uh, with copy and we're just gonna add the body here. If you also have uh, the face uh, involved in this deformation, you will add the face as well. We can use the same settings. Press OK. And now we have the belly as well. So uh, this is it uh, for this video. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and uh, see you around. Bye.